We get questions every day about LED bulbs. Because we've had so many questions on the halogen 90 watt PAR38 versus the LED PAR38 bulb, we decided to make this short video. Welcome to the Total Lighting Supply PAR38 Shootout. Halogen versus LED. First, some ground rules. It's important to understand that wattage is not a measurement of light output. It is a measurement of power consumed. So if you think that a 90 watt bulb is brighter than a 24 watt bulb, it's just not true anymore. In the old incandescent days, it was true, but not now. Heck, if you want to produce heat, buy a heater. If you want to produce light, buy an energy efficient light bulb. The other ground rule is, how long will the bulb last? Average life is assigned by the testing lab at each factory. As you know, an LED lasts longer than a fluorescent, and that lasts longer than a halogen, and that one lasts longer than an incandescent. So the topic today is, what about an LED PAR38 versus a halogen PAR38 bulb? We screwed both into a track lighting fixture and aimed them at the wall. What we found in our real-world, non-scientific test, this is just the kind of test we like, real-world, really surprised us. The 90-watt halogen in our test produced 82 foot candles at 6 feet away. It produced a circle of light of about 25 degrees, or about 4 feet in diameter. This is typical for this kind of bulb. Average life on a halogen bulb like this is about 2,500 hours, depending on your actual input voltage and the light source is warm in color at about 2700 K. This color matches up to the color temperature of an incandescent bulb. This is why furniture stores like them. They have a warm color output, kind of like the sun is at the end of a day. Very warm. For this shootout, our factory sent us a PAR38 LED at only 24 watts. The bulb they sent us has a color temperature of 5000 K. Not exactly a great comparison, as the color temperature is leaning towards the white end of the spectrum, with a very crisp and bright output. With the LED bulbs, the warmer the color temperature, the less light output. This will slowly change as nano dot LED technology becomes more affordable. But for now, we're going to look at the 5000K. Just be aware of the color temperature difference. The surprise was, at 24 watts, it produced a whopping 110 foot candles, at about the same beam spread as our halogen bulb. Quite frankly, we were blown away. 110 foot candles versus 82 foot candles, and a savings of 66 watts. So just think of the energy savings on your electric bill, and the reduction in air conditioning required in your store. Is the bulb good for everything? No. Watch out for the beam spread. It is a little narrow. However, it would be great on higher ceilings or where you really want to direct the light. LED is taking over the marketplace, and we are offering more and more options. We love to test and compare items. Let us know if there's something we should look into. We are lighting designers, not just someone trying to sell you a box with a part number on it. You can always contact us with questions and applications you may have. Thanks for watching, and check out our other videos and website for more. At Total Lighting Supply, we understand the importance of your time. Not everyone can be a lighting expert. We're not just about selling you light bulbs, light fixtures, and light components. We're also about helping you achieve amazing and successful lighting results in your space. We hope that our video series will assist you in achieving your lighting goals.